All right, Shalom, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wabra Kakwadash, which Yahweh's Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ as his true name, and Rakakwadash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the scriptures, and salutations to all the brothers out there pushing his word in all truth and all sincerity. Now, I want to talk about this uh, uh, federal um, interest rate cuts, okay? That uh, just happened, and basically, I'm gonna play a, a video clip uh, soon um, about um, federal interest rates to give you, you know, brothers, an idea of what it is and how it affects the economy, and basically, how even though they have cut these interest rates, it's not going to help the economy. Okay, due to due to the fact that first and foremost, a uh, uh, biblical prophecy. All right, states that America is going to go through economic collapse, okay? And secondly, with the things that are going on, you know, worldwide, okay, with these trade wars going, um, with, uh, with um, you know, these oil fields in Saudi Arabia, you know, being bombed recently, you know, gas prices, you know, about to, you know, skyrocket as well, okay? Or increase, even if it doesn't necessarily skyrocket, it will increase, all right? And due to the fact that no one wants to, you know, trade necessarily with America anymore or use the U.S. petrodollar anymore, there is no way that this stuff is going to help out, okay? It's like putting a Band-Aid on a shotgun wound. It's not going to do anything, okay? And um, first, we're just going to uh, read this article so you brothers uh, know what's going on. This is uh, from foxbusiness.com. It says federal cut rates, cities uh, weakening exports and low inflation. Okay, it says the Federal Mar uh, Reserve on Wednesday cut its benchmark interest rate by 25 uh, basis points, citing weakening exports and low inflation. It says the reduction, which lowered the federal uh, funds rate to a range of 1.75% uh, to 2%, was the central bank's second in as many meetings. In July, the Fed lowered rates for the first time in more than a decade after hiking them nine times since December 2015. Okay, it says, job gains have been solid on average in recent months, and the unemployment rate has remained low. And that's uh, completely false. That's a false uh, statement and narrative, okay? All right. Uh, there has not been job uh, gains. And if there has been any job gains, there are um, jobs that are... Um, more or less, you know, entry level jobs, okay, you know, such as you know, uh, jobs in the sector service, okay, you know, your waiters, waitresses, you know, uh, those that work at you know, um, you know, McDonald's, so on and so forth. There's uh, the jobs that are created aren't, you know, really helping the people out. They don't have like these um, uh, solid concrete jobs, so to speak. All right, okay. And uh, uh, unemployment is is going up, okay? Because if it wasn't going up, all right, uh, if it was low, there wouldn't be job or um, not jobs, but uh, there wouldn't be um, stores closing, okay? And there's stores closing left and light, uh, left and right. We're dealing with um, a retail apocalypse right now. That's why, for instance, you go into uh, the downtown area out here in Chicago. You go on State Street, which that's a, a street out here, which is known for uh, 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 retail and shopping. There's uh, many storefronts, okay, that are open. You know, the, these storefronts are, are looking for uh, businesses to come in. And they can't find it because no one wants to, you know, invest in a, sh a sinking ship, so to speak. Okay, now I'm going to keep reading the Central B uh, Bank's Monetary Policy Committee said in a statement, although household spending has been rising at a uh, strong pace, uh, business fixed int uh, investment and exports have weakened. In a 12-month basis, overall inflation and inflation for items uh, other than food and energy are running below 2%. All right. Um, here we go. This is what I wanted to get. It says, Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve fail again, President Trump tweeted following the decision. No guts, no sense, no vision. A terrible communicator. Uh, previously, the president had called for a big rate cut from the central bank. And the reason why uh, Donald Trump uh, uh, has made that statement is because 
he knows that the economy is doing very bad right now. And he wants these big interest rate cuts because it would basically help out these businesses. All right. And that's why he made that statement. But see, you know, it, it, these elites don't want to help out America ultimately because they know that they're that this place, OK, this, you know, big, you know, um, you know, a shopping mall or supermarket, whatever you want to call it, is going out the window. OK, it's falling, it's failing. It's not going to be successful anymore. All right. It's had its time and now it's, you know, it's run its course, basically. And we're just playing out the end of it. Basically, this place is going through a process known as liquidation, okay? And if anybody knows anything about um, when a business uh, liquidates, that's basically when a business is basically trying to sell all its goods, even if it's at a very low price, just to get the goods out so then they can pack up, okay, you know, uh, pack up a, a shop and go to the next spot, all right? And that's what's happening to America, all right? And, um... That's pretty much it. Um, that I'm what I'm gonna get from this article, and uh, I'm gonna get this uh, this quick video here that's um, on the YouTube channel TD America uh, Ameritrade. Okay, and this video is gonna give you an idea of what's going on. Okay, and so lucky I have to you know uh, um, you know play this video as well, and I'm not getting really to the scriptures right away, but this um, I have to lay out this foundation so you all can know what's going on. Speculation about whether the Fed will cut interest rates can generate a lot of headlines, but it's not always clear how a rate cut might affect investors. So let's discuss how lowered interest rates can stimulate the economy and impact financial markets. Also, let's take a look at which types of investments have historically performed the best in low interest rate environments. The goal of the Federal Reserve, or the Fed, is to keep the U.S. economy healthy in two ways, minimizing unemployment and stabilizing inflation. The Fed does this by decreasing or increasing interest rates. Historically, as the economy has shown signs of weakness, the Fed has responded by cutting interest rates. Here's how okay, right there it said if the economy is showing weak, in uh, you know, uh, basically weak growth, that the, it's going to uh, cut its uh, uh, interest rate. Okay, and that's what's happening. Uh, uh, the American economy is weak right now; it's falling apart. All right, and that's why they're doing this because they're trying to stimulate it. Because they're trying to, you know, give these investors, you know, these low interest rates. Because basically what happens is when the Fed cuts the interest, interest rates, then the banks are going to cut the interest rates. All right. And that's going to, you know, the, the, basically what they're trying to do is to promote, you know, uh, 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 growth in business. So investors can come in and, you know, not get a, a, a text. Okay. For their investment. All right. They don't want to get that, that high interest rate. Because who would want to pay, let's just say I'm, you know, making a random number, you know, a 25%, okay? Who would want to uh, pay an extra 25% on that investment? They would rather pay, you know, obviously, you know, they, they'd be more willing to pay, you know, if it's only like 10% extra, all right? Like I said, that's just a quick little example. That's how it works. A committee within the Fed called the Federal Open Market Committee meets eight times a year to look at the health of the economy. If there are signs of a weak economy, like rising unemployment and stagnating job growth, the Fed may decide to lower interest rates, specifically the federal funds rate. Generally, when the federal funds rate is low, banks lower their interest rates. This can help stimulate economic growth in a couple ways. First, lower interest rates make it cheaper for people and businesses to borrow money for big purchases or new ventures. Second, cutting interest rates makes it less profitable to keep money in bank accounts. Instead of saving, individuals and businesses may want to invest or spend that money. The goal is to kickstart a virtuous cycle of spending and growth. That and see, this stuff is not going to uh, uh, do anything. Because even if they, because like how they said, they, uh, uh, you know, uh, the banks are going to lower their interest rates. Okay, cool. You might have a few businesses try to open up. But they made a statement about how um, basically those who have money in the bank, that is going to affect them. And that basically it'll force them to spend. But how are you going to force people to spend when they don't have any money in the bank? Okay? Because most uh, Americans, as you know, numerous articles have stated, that Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Like, uh, um, I forgot the percentage. It's over 50%. It's like 60% or something like that. 60 to 70% of the average Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. 
So that's not going to help out. That's not going to make these people spend money. They, they don't have any money. Okay, so this stuff is not going to help this place. All right. Creates jobs and steers inflation to more healthy levels. However, it'll likely be some time after the Fed cuts rates before consumers begin to feel this type of economic growth. Though the economy responds slowly, you may see changes in the stock and bond markets immediately. For major stock indices, rate cuts are typically good news. While expectations are often priced in, sometimes there's a surprise that can cause the market to spike. And exactly, there could be a surprise that, that causes the market to spike, okay? Such as oil fields getting bombed, okay? Like in Saudi Arabia, all right? Or tariffs on countries that can make things spike and change everything. So even for these uh, investors, all right, because, you know, when they talk about the bonds and the stocks, that goes into basically investors, all right? The, right now, people don't want to invest, okay, because they're afraid because of the, uh, 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 the market's uncertain right now due to the fact that there's trade wars going on and there's war, all right, and proxy wars going on all over the world. So people are very nervous. They don't really want to uh, uh, put their money into something where... It could possibly, they could possibly lose out on that, all right? So that's why this uh, whole, you know, federal um, uh, interest rate cut isn't going to do anything for this place, all right? Now, I'm going to get a couple scriptures here. This is Nahum 3 and 19. It says, there is no healing of thy bruise. Thy wound is grievous. And, you know, we're talking about America right now, okay? There's no healing of this bruise, all right? This deadly uh, uh, wound that this place is, you know, uh, has have had for some time now, Okay? Especially when 2008 hit. Even prior to that, but once 2008 hit, this place has been tanking, man. Okay, like I said, they've been trying to put a bunch of, you know, band-aids and, you know, trying to stitch up a wound, uh, a shotgun wound. You can't do that, all right? It's going to keep bleeding out. It's going to, those uh, band-aids are going to, um you know, not do anything. Those, you know, those stitches that they're trying to, like, you know, uh, uh, um, trying to, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, heal up. You know, a shotgun wound, that stuff's going to break, okay? And it's going to keep, you know, that blood uh, is going to keep spilling out. That wound's going to keep opening up, all right? This place is through, man. And it says, All that hear the a brood of thee shall clap the hands over thee. For upon whom hath not thy wickedness passed continually? Okay? And this is talking about America, okay? All these people are going to clap for the downfall of this place, even though... It's like a, it's a balance. It's a twofold thing because, as the scriptures say in Revelation, I think it's the twentieth. No, it's the eighteenth chapter. How these um, nations are going to cry for Babylon's downfall. Okay, and that's because the reason why they're going to cry is because they're not going to be able to trade with this place anymore because this is a, 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 this is a global market, a global economy. Everything's interconnected. All right. And when this place goes down, they're not going to be able to trade, so they're going to cry for that. But at the same time, these people are happy that this place is going down, all right? Because America has been basically being has been the big terrorist for how uh, for for decades, all right? Centuries. America has gone into all these countries, has raped, robbed, and murdered people, set up democracies, all right? Set up these puppet governments, and has destroyed countries, destroyed nations, and people are tired of it, man. Okay. That's why it says in the last part, for upon whom hath not thy wickedness passed continually? Who haven't you invaded? Who haven't you basically, even if you didn't necessarily invade them, who haven't you talked to, all right, and basically um, has told them, you know, behind closed doors what to do? It's been everybody. Because it says in the scriptures that the, the nations have drank the wine of the wrath of your fornication. They've taken, you know, uh, your ideologies. They, they've, uh, um, they've made trade deals with you, all right. But now we're at a point where everyone's tired of this place, man, and that's because the heavenly Father is now, um, at a point where he's about to take this place down. Okay, it's just only a matter of time. Now I want to get uh, Jeremiah fifty-one and um and seven, and it reads here. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. And um, it was a golden cup, all right? This place was exalted. This place was um, that, that great city that everybody wanted to come, you know, uh, to. Everybody wanted to be like this place at one point. And it's made all the earth uh, drunk. And how has it made it drunk? By its philosophies. Because when you read Isaiah, 
I believe the 29th chapter, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but it talks about how people are drunk, but not off of wine, okay? And basically what it means is that they're drunk off the philosophy, the ideology of this place, okay? It says, the nations have drunken over wine, therefore the nations are mad. And when you look up that word mad, it has uh, it's, uh, uh, multi, uh, it's multifold, it has multi-meaning, okay? And there's two two main ones. One of them is talking about actually, you know, being mad as in angry and also being, you know, mad as in crazy, like a madman. Okay? The old saying, you know, a madman. Cause these these people, once they drink that wine, they become crazy. They become uh, uh out of order. They become uh disorderly, they become uh, uh bugged out of their goddamn mind, man. That's why you have, you know, for instance, you got trannies all over the place now, all over the world. That's that that's the new thing, man. All right, you have uh, uh, women leaving their men. That, that's that's the new thing too. You know, here in America, it's been going on for some time, but worldwide, it's starting to spread, man. You see it happening in in um uh um the Middle East. You're seeing it happen in you know uh, these Asian countries. All right, Africa, and that's because uh, of America, man. Then they push that to push, uh, to basically have things disorderly, so things aren't um, you know uh, uh, um structured. And the elites want that to happen so they can have control over everybody. All right? I'm going to keep reading. Um, verse 8. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. And that's the Lord mocking this place. Because balm is like a healing ointment. Okay? So it's saying, hey, if you can do anything to help this place, do it. But they can't do anything for this place. It's through. It's done. It's finished. The Lord has this place destined to be destroyed. Okay. That's why no matter what this place does, it's not going to um, uh, bounce back to how it once was. They've been trying to make this place bounce back, especially these past, you know, this past decade to 11, 12 years now, because it's going on 12 years. All right. Since the uh, the economic, you know, crash in 08, they've been trying to uh, make this place bounce back for, for, for that long. And it hasn't, and nothing's uh, been successful. These interest rates uh, uh, cuts aren't going to do anything, okay? It's not going to help this place out, all right? No matter what they try to do. And it says, forsake her and let us, everyone, um, it's like he says, Fors forsake her and let us go everyone into his own country. And that's talking about these foreigners. They're getting to a point where they have to leave this place because they're not making money and because it's going to, it's getting too um, dangerous to live out here because see everyone outside of America knows that World War Three is about to happen, okay? That great uh, death and great fighting is about to occur. It's only here in America where everyone's oblivious to what's going on, and that's because they push their uh, uh, bread and circus out. All right, like during the time of Rome. All right, they pushed what the gladi uh, 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 those gladiator fights, okay? They pushed out a uh, 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 food, and that's what this place promotes. Go eat. You know, go watch TV, go uh, uh, go to the football game, go to the uh, uh, UFC fights, okay? Go to the concert so you don't... So, so basically, you're blinded to what's really going on, all right? See, everywhere else worldwide, man, they're, they're getting prepared. So a lot of these foreigners that have come here, they know what's going on. And, and they're basically, they're coming here to make quick money and they're about to head back, man. Especially once things get, you know, worse in this place, all right? And it says, for her judgment reaches unto heaven and is lifted up even to the skies. And, you know, those hurtful works that it speaks about in, I think, 2nd Ezra, the ninth chapter, all right, those evil, wicked works are fulfilled, all right? We're getting to a point where it's about to uh, uh, hit, man, you know, uh, that marker where once it hits that marker, the Heavenly Father is going to give that, that judgment. And we're entering in those times where that judgment's about to come down, all right? And one of the judgments is an economic collapse, which... Once the economic collapse hits, what's going to happen? You're going to have riots. You're going to have food riots, you know, uh, 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 class riots, race riots. Because once you take natural resources out of a, 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 partic you know, a particular society, what happens? It becomes racial real quick. People are going to, um, they're going to click with their own nation, all right? And that's what's going to occur. And things are going to get real nasty out here. Then, then that's going to, uh, you know, force the government to what? Push martial law. All right. Which martial law is going to come with the detention centers 
and ultimately the the um uh, uh pushing that RFID microchip, okay? The mark of the beast on the people. The force, you know, implement uh you know, uh, the, the forcing of the uh, uh, mark of the beast, man. All right? You see these things are coming, man. Even though, you know, it may take some time still, but we're seeing everything, you know, play out right now right before our eyes, all right? So, you know, I'm going to end it off with, you know, with that. And I know this was a little bit longer than I expected, but, um, you know, basically I had to, you know, uh, break everything down, you know, so, you know, brothers who don't know what's going on get an understanding of what's happening out here. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shimei, Shai. Also, double honors to the apostle and the elders, great millstone, and salutations to all your brothers out there.